Well, a Tucson man plans to be part of a Republican rebellion at the party's national convention next week. Tyler Mott is one of the delegates going to Cleveland. As KGUN Not In Your Sides' Craig Smith found, Mott wants to make sure Donald Trump does not lead the convention as the Republican nominee. Donald Trump dominated the Republican vote. That's expected to give him enough delegates to clinch the nomination on the first ballot. But some delegates, like Tyler Mott, say a lot of Arizona Republicans did not vote for Trump. Some delegates, like Mott, are hoping convention rules will allow them to vote for someone other than Trump or vote for no one at all and open the way for a different candidate. We do think that we have a lot of people who feel the same way, that, that Donald Trump is completely unfit to be president of the United States, that the things that he said throughout this campaign demonstrate that he doesn't have the integrity to be president of the United States. Here's the political arithmetic. Trump needs 1,237 delegate votes to clinch the nomination on the first ballot. Right now, he has 1,543 pledged to him, but that assumes no one will change their vote. Now, to deny Trump the nomination on that first ballot and open up a chance for someone else, they have to come up with 306 delegates like Tyler Mott. But none of that adds up unless Trump opponents win some battles with the party rules committee that's meeting before the convention. They have to get enough votes to let delegates decide if anti-Trump delegates can be free to vote for someone else. You taking some heat for this? <laughs> it, 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 I've, I've received a number of uh, phone calls and emails that have been not so, uh, not so happy about this, but at the same time, I, I, I have to do what I feel is right. Tucsonan Bruce Ash is on the other side of this. As a member of the Republican National Committee, he will influence whether delegates will be able to vote for someone other than Trump. He says Trump was not his first choice, but thinks Trump won the nomination fair and square, and no one should change that. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.